So you know one of those things that you don't really want to do, but you know you kind of have to? Well, this is one of those things. Welcome everybody to the classroom. This probably looks a little bit different than you. It's Tuesday. Welcome everybody, my name is Mr. McLogan. I'm a math teacher at Mandarin High School. Hey guys. Any three math problems you want me to solve, or you give me a math topic, and I'll give you three examples of how to solve. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the final quarter. And I like to make this video a lot for my students, or have this conversation within the classroom, because it comes down to the same Basically, point. Basically, what we're doing for this is, I'll ask you just to graph each one of these. I'm not really sure how to say goodbye to the only profession that I've ever known. The same school, classroom, and community that welcome me in. The profession I remember declaring as a senior in high school and then putting in my time, effort, and money to earn my degree and make it my identity. I'm a teacher. That is my identity. And how do I walk away from that? The school routine is woven into the fabric of who I am, the feelings of excitement, and some of the trepidation before each new school year begins. All the Sunday nights spent preparing for the week ahead and grading papers. I can't explain the feeling of pure happiness that comes from teaching students inside of the classroom and the relationships created. I can't explain the smile on the face. Seeing students inside the halls or the awkward hugs and sweaty handshakes I receive throughout the year. I can't explain the energy I get when I say good morning or the pain I feel when I know my students are hurting inside. I can't explain the understanding and the empathy I feel when listening to my students or my ability to know to push my students when they want to give up. I can't explain the rush I feel having a lesson go exactly as planned or the feeling of knowing when and how to stretch each of my students to be better or give more. I can't understand how I will feel about actually leaving the classroom and not having a group of 25 teenagers in front of me. ready to take on a new day. How I go about searching and replacing the indescribable feelings of presenting my students with a lesson that I know in my gut will engage and inspire them. How do I replace the thank you each and every year I receive from my current students and students of years past, especially for those I had no, I felt I had no, made no impact on? How do I replace the look of inspiration or the understanding like a light bulb just went on? And how do I walk away from something I have loved for so long and has loved me right back? I know I'll miss this place and the theater of what it is becoming a performing teacher, the struggles, the ups and downs, the every, the each and every school year, the constant push to find new ways to motivate students and engage them with learning. I will miss the joy of learning something new and molding different approaches for different students. Seeing my students overcome the struggles in my class to earn the grade they deserve or to finally understand what it means to put in the work they can be proud of. Pushing students and getting a simple thank you is something I am really going to miss. I really miss being, spitting out dad jokes and keeping the mood light inside my classroom, but most importantly, being awkward and vulnerable in front of them so I know that I can provide a safe space and that I'm a real person. Since becoming a teacher, information has only gotten cheaper, but human relationships have gotten more expensive. Students don't need teachers to present information. Everything they can ever want is right in front of them, available for the taking, free. Students need mentors, coaches, and instructors that form those unique and positive relationships with them to help push and guide them through the learning process and those developmental teenage years. No easy feat, no test grade can ever define a student's ability or make an impact on their lives like a teacher. From the first moment I realized my students were not getting everything out of me, I knew I had to step aside from the profession. You cannot fake being a quality teacher. No teacher evaluation will ever show the quality teachers and their actual impact they will have on their students. The only thing I can say at this moment is that we evolve as a society and as humans, when your heart tells you, you go, you have to go. I'm entering an unknown, exciting period in my life. What is the next step? What potential I have not uncovered yet within myself? I want to continue teaching and ed educating and inspiring others, but I like it in the way I've done in the past. What could have been written in one sentence or checked off in a simple box just did not seem right to end a 14 career of so much time, energy, and love. I truly believe that having quality teachers is the single most important aspect of student achievement. And my hope for my own children and our society is that we can create a system and framework that just does just that. When education is done right, students are inspired and motivated to learn 
to learn more and challenge themselves. My only goal and hope I after leaving this teaching profession is that we can make that the number one priority of putting a high quality educa educator in each and every classroom and giving them each and every resource they need to make the most out of their students and themselves as a teacher. Teaching is an art and is something to be developed over time. It is either a dashed or a solid line and we're either shading above or below or to the left or to the well, right. How far is that away from going all the way around the circle? 60. But in reality, it's you that has to be able to master the content. So again, this is something that is just in space. Do not be stuck on what letters are in the formula, right? These can all change. When you first learned about solving equations, a lot of the equations were so basic, you guys just did them in your Now, head. the first conic section that I want to explain to you is actually fairly basic. We could use this kind of definition. My mission will be to continue to make a positive impact on others just like I've been act impacted throughout my years of service at Manor High School. It was my pleasure. Keep working hard and stay curious. Cheers. Cheers.